Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video I will be going to explain you phasor diagram of RL series circuit. So here you will be given with RL circuit in series and we are dealing with to plot phasor diagram in between voltage and current. Now my dear students if you see this circuit for series connection of R and L current through both these elements R and L it will be I of T. So here as current is same through R and L I will be taking current as reference in this phasor diagram. So my dear students I will be taking current as reference in this phasor diagram as current is same through R and L. So let us consider current I of T that is I m sin omega t and this is time domain function and now if you represent that in terms of phasor then you can say current I that is having maximum magnitude I m and phasor angle 0 degree. Now my dear students we are a little bit to understand what will happen in terms of voltage across R and L. So here current is entering so I can say here voltage will be Vr across this resistance R and voltage across inductor that will be Vl across inductor. Now my dear students you should know voltage across resistor in terms of phase you can say that is Vr and that will be resistance R into phasor current and here phasor current that is I m into angle 0 so I can say R into I m angle 0 that will be V R in terms of phase and if you want this V L in terms of phase then I can say V L in terms of phase will be current I in terms of phase into impedance Z L. Now here I in terms of phase that is I m into angle 0 and Z L that is J omega L and in terms of phase if you write then this will be I m into omega L angle 0 into angle of J will be 90. So in multiplication angle will get added so I can say V L will be I m into omega L with angle 90 degree. Now my dear students here we are having RL circuit in series so we can apply KVL in this loop. So if you apply KVL in this loop then voltage source V of T let us say in phase it will be voltage V and by bar symbol we can write phase that is equals to voltage across resistance. So here I am representing that in form of voltage across resistance in phase plus voltage across inductance so that is VL in terms of phase I am writing it with bar. So I can say this VR that is R into IM with phase angle 0 and this VL that is omega L into IM with phase angle 90. So now my dear students I am having voltage and current so I can easily draw phasor diagram in terms of phase. So if you want to represent phase then here we have considered current as a reference and it is I m sin omega t but in terms of phase it is I m angle 0. So let me draw phase of current. So phase of current that is having angle 0 so you see horizontal line with current I that I have represented and its magnitude is I m and phase is 0. Now my dear students let us try to understand what will happen with voltage. So you see this total voltage is V r plus V l and V r is having R into I m voltage and its phase is 0. So here if you represent V r then it will be having angle 0. So I am just overlapping that on this current phase let us say that is Vr over here 
and this phase V R is having value R into I M and its phase angle is 0. Now if you see V L right then you see its magnitude is omega L into I M and angle is 90 degree. So here I need to have 90 degree in which magnitude is omega L into I M. So V L is omega L into I M with angle 90 degree. So see this is what voltage phase and if you want total voltage then as per Pythagoras theorem you can say resultant of this will be this phase that is V and that will be VR plus VL and it will make angle phi with respect to current phase. So let us say this angle is phi and magnitude is in terms of phase it will be VR plus VL. But my dear students when you want to calculate magnitude you cannot directly sum as angle is different over here right. So when you want to calculate magnitude you will have to apply Pythagoras theorem here. So you can say magnitude that will be square root of one side square plus second side square as per Pythagoras theorem. So this V that will be square root of VR square plus VL square. Now here VR is how much? R into IM whole square and what is VL? So its magnitude is omega L IM whole square. So here IM will be common take it outside into square root of R square plus omega L whole square. So that is what magnitude of voltage which we have and as if you want to calculate this angle phi then as per this triangle if you take 10 of phi then that will be opposite divided by adjacent. So I can say phi is equals to 10 inverse opposite is VL so that is omega L into IM and adjacent that is VR that is R into IM here I m will get cancelled and you can say this phase phi that will be 10 inverse omega L divided by R. So that is how we can identify phase of this RL series circuit. Now my dear students here one more essential point that you should know that is impedance. So you see when you want to calculate impedance of series connection at that time simply you can say impedance Z that will be for series it will be impedance of R plus impedance of L and we know impedance of R is R only and impedance of L that will be J omega L right. So that is how we can identify impedance of RL circuit. Now my dear students as I have said see for phasor diagram here current is a reference which is having angle 0. But if you see resultant of RL is having voltage that is IM into square root of R square plus omega L whole square where phase of this voltage is leading by angle phi with respect to current. You see here current is having zero angle and voltage is having angle that is phi. So voltage is leading by angle phi with respect to current or you can say this current is lagging by angle phi with respect to voltage. So when we talk about RL series connection you should know voltage leads by phi angle with respect to current or you can say current lags by phi angle with respect to voltage and the magnitude of voltage that will be current into square root of R square plus omega L whole square and that phase by which voltage leads that will be 10 inverse omega L by R. Now I'll show you that by waveforms so that will gives you more resolution. Now my dear students if you see here we are having current that is I m sin omega d it is having zero phase which is our reference right. So first I'll plot I m sin omega d 
So, I m sin omega d that will start from origin and that will be sine signal. So, let me plot it. So, you can observe this is having maximum amplitude I m. It is starting from here. So, I can say this is I of t which is I m sin omega t. Now, my dear students, if you see voltage, so voltage is having phase difference that is tan inverse omega L by R and it will leads by phi angle. Now here magnitude of voltage that is I m into square root of R square plus omega L square, right. But I can say in general as per this phase, this voltage V that will be V m into sin omega t plus phi as this voltage is leading by angle phi and this V m is how much? V m is I m into R square plus omega L square, right. So that is how we should be representing this voltage as per it is leading by angle phi. So now my dear students, I will show you how to plot waveform of voltage which is leading by angle phi. Now leading by angle phi means what? It should be advanced by angle phi. So if I say here this difference is angle phi, then as per V is Vm sin omega t plus phi, it should start from here, sin signal should start from phi angle earlier. So now you see I am plotting waveform with same frequency of Vm sin omega t plus phi. So you can observe frequency of both of this signal is same, but this signal is Vm sin omega t plus phi where phi is tan inverse omega L by R and this Vm that is Im into square root of R square plus omega L square. So my dear students, now I think it is clear to you how RL circuit will behave. So when we talk about RL circuit in series, in that voltage will leads by some angle and that angle phi that we can identify by having impedance of inductance and resistance value, right. As I have explained it, you see it is tan inverse omega L by R and magnitude of voltage that is I m into square root of R square plus omega L whole square that is impedance, right. So you should know how to identify impedance. So by using Laplace E1 you can use that in which by replacing S is equals to J omega we can convert that in terms of frequency domain from Laplace domain. So all those practice that we will do it in future videos in problems. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.